I'm the Voyager Recumbent Bicycle, and I'm here making a video showing you how to disassemble the Voyager and to pack it into its case. We have step-by-step uh, -step procedures that we'll go through, which are included with the bike. Uh, go ahead, Mirko, step one. Step one, remove pedals. With most pedals, you can use the three-way wrench, which is included with the Voyager assembly. Okay, step two. Step two, brake chain at super link, then wrap up chain on chain rings. The super link is, is the different chain link. To remove it, you bend the chain, that particular link, past 90 degrees, like this, and push on it. And they pop apart. If your chain is greasy, your hands are going to get a little greasy, which is why I have a rag right here. The, uh, the little links, you don't want to lose those. And because we have a, a little plate on the crank set, you can wrap the chain up on the chain links. And remove crank sets, is that correct? Number three, unbolt front derailleur cable okay. and remove crank set bottom bracket assembly. So we take the cable loose from the front derailleur. I always tighten the, the bolt back tight so it doesn't come loose and get lost during shipping. The bottom bracket assembly just slips out the front of the frame. Okay, next up. Remove seat and separate the two halves. The seat is held on with four quick release clamps which have thumb screws. You simply loosen the screw, slide the clamp off the side. seat comes off the frame. Five. Am I supposed to separate the two halves? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Use the three-way wrench again. There's one bolt on either side of the seat that you loosen. apart. Okay, next up. Number five, install padding on stem, bottom bracket assembly, seat cross tube, and rear frame. Okay, I always lift the cables up a little bit. So you can put the padding up fairly high on the stem. 
Um, did you say on the bottom bracket? Bottom bracket. Okay. chain ring on here. <laughs> Makes it tighter. Usually it's not this hard. And we have one for the crank arm. The chain just slips on. Seat cross tube. Okay. Um, this one here. Stop. And rear frame. Okay, the rear frame actually has has three separate pieces. Right hand seat stay. This one here. Seat saddle. And upper chain stay. Yeah, next step. Six, rotate the plastic chain cage 90 degrees or remove it. Okay, next. Number seven, remove the rear derailleur and sandwich it on the right seat stay. The cable does not have to be removed, so it doesn't affect your shifting. And I was uh, trying to remember the word. Yeah, I'll have to look at the picture. <laughs> I think it's like that. But I just used the uh, spring tension in the derailleur to hold it onto the seat stand. Hmm. Number eight. Remove wheels and quick release gears. Skewers have to be removed so that the wheels will fit inside the box. Oops. Disconnect the brake cable here to take the to take the wheel out. I can't film that. Yeah, I cut it anyway. <laughs> Stuck in there. Install plastic dropout and ask axle protectors. Dropout protectors. Okay, what's next? Number nine, remove the rear brake and derailleur cables from their front stops.
and then the brake. Putting the rear derailleur in high gear helps. Right. You have it in high gear. So this makes the cables loose so that we can separate the two frame halves. Uh, what's next? 10. Remove stem and install rubber steerer cover. I should be filming you from the other side. Number 11, lay the frame down on its right side and uncouple the frame halves. And that's what we have the spanner wrench for, to loosen these guys. Typically what, what you want to do is first loosen all three couplings and then unscrew them. Install covers on front frame portion and on the fork. Okay, fork cover. Also, make sure the loose rear derailleur and brake cables are outside of the front frame cover. Oh, it's sticking to the carpet. Okay, the cover is on and I have the loose cables on the outside here. 